All right, welcome back. We are back on the cabin build and today we are putting up second floor walls. So um, we framed up a couple last night. See, we got this one framed up. This is a short one. And then we have one more over here that's framed up and ready to be tipped up. So we are going to uh, jump right into it this week, get these up and then start framing up the big one, the big one that goes along the front here. So that'll be big project for later today, maybe even part of tomorrow. So, but uh, this week I got Lucas with me. So I got, the, brought the muscle and uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully this goes smoothly. I uh, did move the truck back a little bit just in case it decides to go all the way over. I don't think it will, but just in case we were being cautious. So, all right, let's jump into it and see how it goes. All right, we got the first wall up, a little heavier than we thought. Um, Lucas is just peeling off the bottom now. Just making sure it stays in there. But what we noticed was there's uh, there's some weather heading our way. You hear a lot of thunder. Haven't seen any lightning yet, but it is dark. So we may have to abort and uh, head for cover here in a minute or two. In the meantime, in the meantime, we're gonna to try to get that other wall up. So let's see how that goes. All right, well, the thunderstorm ran us off the roof. We got uh, um, no direct hits nearby, but it was loud and poured rain, even hailed at one point. So that day was a cut a little short. Yesterday was super hot and uh, we didn't have a lot of progress on getting these walls up, but we did get them all sheeted and framed. And so today, hopefully we are tipping them up. So let me show you what we got going here for uh, wall tipping apparatus. This is the point where I have to remind you that this is not a how-to video, but more of a how we did it video. Remember, we're idiots. We don't know what we're doing, but this is how we did it. And it, it did work this time, but can't guarantee it would work for you any other time. So over here, you can see we've started lifting this one up already. This is with a, a wall jack. It's basically like a handyman jack. And so anyway, so that'll pump up the wall and get it going 
a little ways. But the problem with those jacks is you have to be at the top of the wall to, to jack them. And I don't like, I mean, it, we're going to be up here 15 feet or something running the jacks. So I didn't like that. So um, what we got going here is we also have a little rope connected to a cable that should go down to the four-wheeler. So, so the plan is we're gonna um, work together. I'll be working the pump jack. Lucas will be on the four-wheeler tugging a little bit. At some point, the four-wheeler will be able to pull it, um, but we're just gonna use the pump jack, the wall jack a little bit to get us going. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, that went a lot better than I thought. Um, wall is up, no major effort. And uh, once we got past that 45 point, um, the four wheeler was able to just to wench it up the rest of the way. Needed some help at the beginning, but that was kind of the expected. So anyways, we will um, re-rig on the second half of the wall and uh, yeah, do that one next. That wraps up another week on the cabin build and this week was pretty productive we got the front wall up the big one in front of behind me there you can see that was probably the biggest challenge just because it's so tall it wasn't terribly heavy but uh <clears throat> just the size of it made it a little bit of a challenge and then you can see over here we got the rest of the outside second floor walls up So we haven't, uh, still haven't built any stairs and the door out the back porch. A couple of walls still need to be sheeted, but that should be uh, no big deal. But yeah, the front wall is looking good. So we're gonna have uh, three big windows, just picture windows up on the top and a larger window with a door there and larger window with a door, with a, just a window over there. But uh, yeah, came along good. Um, we even managed to get in a little bit of, uh, oh, there's somebody going by in a side-by-side. -side. Oh, a couple of them. We managed to get in a little bit of uh, dirt bike riding, so I'll include some video of that. But, um, but yeah, it's been a great week. Thanks for watching. And um, next up, we'll probably be building the loft floor. So putting in some uh, inside walls upstairs and the floor on the loft um getting ready for you know the roof joists and um yeah but i'll probably be next time thanks for watching
looked like a peacock down there. All kinds of cool animals. It must be this one, huh? There's a whole bunch of like washed out stuff. Is that from that rain we had probably? Okay, you ready? I can't remember, is it this way or do we go up that way and around? Well, I know we turned right before this gate. Yeah, this took a little wash from that uh, thunderstorm. Go the other way. Actually, I think we keep going up. Not quite high enough yet to turn. coming up. I'm trying to find it. Oh, I think this is it. Shortcut. I think this is it here. I think you can either go to the end and go up or we can just go up this. You want to go first? Okay. We made it.
All right, this is the other little viewpoint from the top. I think I almost like this viewpoint better. I can see a little, uh, little smoke out there in the horizon. Let's go down here a little more. Oh yeah, see there's a better view of uh, Davis Lake. And that's probably, it's probably the Three Sisters over there. Pretty smoky that way though, must be a fire right over there. We well, can see a recent lava flow there with just a few trees growing up. Pretty cool. Pretty amazing country. Okay, this is a little picnic table. Lucas made it. <laughs> it just kills it. Yeah, so somebody set up this picnic table with a nice view of Crescent Lake, which is really cool. And it's a little smoky and dusty from our ride, but um, Diamond Peaks off to the right there. I don't know if we can really see it. Eh, a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty smoky. Hard to get a look at it, but that's Diamond Peak over there. So, all right. We're heading back to camp. This is looking pretty good from down here. 